Hello, hello, welcome back to Hearthstone Homebrew. Uh, today I wanted to go ahead and try out a... Uh, we faced it in the last Warlock deck we, we built. It was kind of like a fatigue, aggressive Warlock. I think I wanted to take that like shell of the deck and throw a little spin on it and see what we could come up with. Got two packs here, let's open them up, see what happens. It's a golden legendary right here. I feel it. Damn. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so we have... Uh, we'll disenchant that later. We've got our warlock, and then we're gonna go for all the self-damaging stuff. So we could probably throw in two Felstring Harps. Those are good cards. Go to a couple of Frackings. Flame Imp. Two Demonic Studies. Kind of like a, a Zoo Warlock. I feel like Monster's Form is probably the ticket. Probably a Spirit Bomb. Go with that guy. Crescendo. Get some draw with the G. <laughs> wow, Warlock's got a lot of stuff. That's uh. This is it. We'll throw in some gem tossers. Could have Popgar. We want Symphony. I feel like Symphony is a little slow. And then these bad boys. And we're gonna throw in. No, uh, mountain or molten giants. All right, so what can we cut down? Probably a spirit bomb. We probably want to throw in uh, forge of wills just to get stats on the board. I mean, two mana two five is pretty great. Do we need fracking? Maybe not. I think that's kind of just the gist of it, huh? You're just being as aggressive as possible. Well, sort of as aggressive as possible. Getting stuff down, tapping, tapping, tapping. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try it out. Maybe Symphony is a good bet. But uh, let's throw in prison for now. Who knows what could happen. Self damage zoo. The gist of it is taking a bunch of damage with the fatigue, uh, creating boards, some nice early game aggressive pressure, doubling it with monstrous form or forge of wills, kind of uh, dropping free damage with gem tosser, and then healing up with Popgar or Felstring Harps. And then dropping your your Molten Giants when you're a little low. That guy did run... Um, projectionist, which is uh, an idea. Let's see if this has got any teeth to it. I can probably look on HS Replay, see if... Uh, what I built is anything close to what. Sagaris versus Lunara. The forest fights back. My crusade begins. There's a bunch of wheel warlocks, sludge warlock. I don't see like a fatigue warlock anywhere. I guess it hasn't really came up yet. Uh, this will start getting cheaper, especially with Geode. Uh, Alright, so this is the hero power.
Your power is juiced up already. Alright, hopefully one of these lands on... Alright, I'll take it. would be fine. I am kind of going against the value here. We've drawn all our healing cards already. I killed a 1-1 one, one before or after. We run. I feel like this hero empowering there was probably better. I mean, you get five armor. The Urbiture is upon us! This is a nice little Reno effect ish. too much healing in here. The deck he was playing was just vomiting stats. I'm a little slow here. Do you like to play with fire? Oh. That is something. Here we go. Five eight with monstrous form. It's pretty good. I need to get better at this game. I really thought that was available. <laughs> uh, I am messing up here. Mysterious orb, what is your wisdom? Fragile minds, fragile minds. We do have the pop guard combo. It's 
thing. Ah, is that enough to kill us? Not quite. I'm getting close. I think that's all his single buddies, right? So he's just got the refresh on his hero power. Which would be 10 burst. And we can throw a Dreadlord down there to taunt him up. Nine armor is a lot. Music is the truth. Just listen. card to get. Alright, that is pretty much all we got, though. Hopefully he's out of steam, too. Oh, he's, he's got a very strong hero power, that's for sure. I am only more deadly. Monkeys are so good here. Not too crazy about giving him value like that, though. The end of days is finally upon you. I'd steal if I was him. Steal the five five. Or go for tendrils. Yeah, that's a, that's a smart display. Hope is an illusion. Freeze yog. <laughs> Perfect. Time goes short. All right. Well, yog has to die. Oh, he may just be able to outlast us with, uh, that 8 armor at turn, unless we can get a board going. That is a board.
Let's hope it doesn't give a twisting nether or something. <laughs> Alright, that's what we needed, was a good bit of tempo. of our teeth, really. Uh, what felt good there? Um, the Trox felt pretty good. I'm not sure about Bladebound Imp, or Bloodbound Imp. Seems a little, uh, out of place. We can take damage from Soul Freeze, kind of slow him down a little bit. I don't think there's anything we, else we can do fatigue-wise. Just encouraging insanity. Which would help. I'll go double soul freeze for now. I don't see any other lists that are uh, kind of running this... Fatigue, self-damage package. Most of them are just sludge. If they're any kind of, like, low-to-the-ground list. Mega Jaraxxus versus Sagaris. I will not be contained. You face the ultimate mining machine! Mark, because he's going to be healing. Maybe it is worthwhile to get, uh... There's a few wheels. I mean, that's only applicable to, uh... Really, warlocks. That's a good demon here. This will fill in the curve. Uh, this will fill in the curve better next turn. We can tap and drop. Observer. Really thought he was dropping uh, wood wheels here. Glad to not see it. Mysterious orb. What is tap last every time. We know the drill. He hits us. That's that's some free molten giants at least. Which I will gladly take. And then we can heal up a little bit. How do I get rid of that bad boy? And now, the premiere act! Me!
Go with the Void Walker, I guess. Time's only good for smashing. Or we'll hold on to it. Garrus in a box. Could have Goldan's gift and siphon soul. That's good. Hard to say. Ah, smart. Uh, no better time, I guess. A pyroblast. Why do you call? Uh, that was pretty poor, but uh, we'll take it. Twisting Nether would suck. We kind of need the value from our uh, our prison over here. Okay, that'll be good for later. But it also does help him activate Arena. Looks like he doesn't have it. He's got it. No, okay. How do we get through? That will help. So we go Forge of Wills, we could connect with six, and then we're kind of just... So one of these has to die. Let's go, baby. Three damage. Oh, no. Flew too close to the sun. Action. Oh, we're not dead yet.
I would have just... Uh, Twisting Other does kill a Sargeras. It's not very good for him. gonna have Reno soon. Really just needed three damage from the prison there. Alright, that is probably that's a 1515. Hello. Probably why they run the projectionist because a lot of your stuff is still zero mana, and you can get, you know, more uh, baritone imps stuff like that, or flame imps. Uh, I do actually like the prison here. The rook is good. Maybe we take out the soul freeze and throw in projectionists. Soul freeze is a good tempo card though. Let's try and run this over five-ish games, five, six-ish games. Bizarre versus the Lich King. All will serve me in death. May we get the horror going pretty early. Tossing some gems today. And now the premiere has broken. Actually, a pretty good uh, gem tosser here. Let's keep tapping. Uh, we'll go forge wheels here, and then coin out this app. We can tap again, and get a uh, horror down for one. Till death do us part. The the worst. I mean, he's gonna hit us for a bunch here. Only good for smashing. 
drop the uh, Molten Giant for free. Perfect, do that. Yeah, do that. Trade in your 4-3. Oh, Hollow Hound. is two damage. Pretty ah. good card there, I'd say. we went with. Uh, this guy will be a 6-6. Six -six. I was like, what is that getting him? And now, the premiere act! Me! We've created a temporal anomaly. And now, the premiere act! Me! Job done. Well, let me tap, because I can definitely throw down a giant if I get it. Uh... That fight has Reska, Primus, a lot of shenanigans. We do have prison. The citadel stands strong. Till death do us part. We have death for you. <laughs> Uh, I probably just want to make this trade, right? Astronomical. Explosion would be... I don't know if it'd be enough. It would hurt for sure. Take a good look. Okay. You ain't never seen a light again. Take the two-two. Oh, he took the best one. <laughs> Shoot. The runes oh, oh, perfect. Just the zero mana Reska into the Primus. Symbol of death. Perfectly normal. This is good, though. Follow my lead. Death is a symptom of life. Can't really take any damage here. He needs this two, which is not unlikely for him to get. One more death can't hurt. All right, so we get at least another activation from uh, Prism. I think we've lost though. Reska for zero mana into Primus is a hell of a turn. And stealing our best minion. Alright, y'all. I believe in you, buddy. 
Good start. I mean, that's good. <laughs> Yogg did what was asked of him, but I think we're just dead. Yeah, all this stuff damages us. Reska Temple Wise is just unbeatable sometimes. Alright, self damage zoo. So if we can get out stuff for cheap, I'm thinking throwing in our boy Art Stenberg. You already know what's going on here. Uh, we'll take out one Demonic Studies. Hope we don't draw a heart too quickly. <laughs> Let's see if it's any good. Makes right. Your soul shall be mine. Uh, we just want whatever is gonna hurt us. Not a very good hand. That just got better. Drop the horror soon. And now the premiere act. Me. My me. Ah. Uh, I don't know if that was worth it to equip Starting the operation. Starting the operation. Because now we'll be able to. Kinda nutty. We've created a temporal anomaly. And now the premier act. Me. Me. I mean we are just throwing lots of stats on the board, that's something at least. Created a temporary. Oh, everybody's running projectionist. I think we just want the Sorry, stats, yeah. So this guy's Follow gonna always die. And Zerimi. Need help. Let's give you some extra time. Water. Sweet. Beautiful water. water. Oh god, Sweet, dude. Beautiful water. The nuts hand. Is that enough to kill me? Probably. Oh wow. That 
that's the best hand I've ever seen for that deck. I mean, what can you do? One in three. All right, we'll give it one more game. Thompson versus Scarlet. Let the blight begin. Clear the stage! It's an early game. Imp will do it. Could see about a fell uh, synergy list with Popgar. I don't think any new fell spells got introduced, though. I'd have to take a look. Death Knight. It's a good start for my opponent. damage on my turn. You have earned an eternity of torment. Pretty good uh, Tomb Trader here. He does not have it. Love to see it. Is that a heal? Holy unholy list. This cannot wow. be found. It's really early. This cannot be found. We want to tap. Ah. That feels good. We have a little bit of healing with Popgar. We just gotta not die. Easier said than done sometimes.
That is a lot of stats. Oh god. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do it. Just no three plagues in a row, we should be alright. saw it before we did. Alright. Two and three there. Let's give it one more game, see how it feels. We got definitely all our self-damaging elements there. Studies into Rook would be a good play. This is the Blood Unholy Unholy list. Yeah, we'll go with Baritone Imp. Uh, I could have played Flame Imp there, actually. That was a better play. Would have been able to push three damage. And now the premiere act. Me. Let's just tap. We want to save the heart for later when we're like lower, right? You have earned an eternity of torment. Uh, this is something. We are one damage off, though. Double Plague, of course. Well, it helps us get down to Molten Giant a little earlier, I guess. to see this signature card. We've created a temporal anomaly. Kind of like walking that fine line. You start getting close enough where Molten Giant is free. He's already got Reska. No, okay. Still a big boy, though. Premier at me. 
Can't run Ruska. Got these blood unholy unholy. Alright, well, time to start healing. And plagues will give us a little healing. See if we can go positive. At least they're pretty quick. Gul'dan versus Deathwing. Come, embrace the chaos. Your soul shall be mine! We keep horror, maybe. Against Warrior, we probably run out of steam quickly. Let's go. Uh, Waste Remover, I guess. Look upon me. The aspect of death. Job done. You're probably just gonna drop waste from your ring is instantly removed. <laughs> By a blade storm or something. Your world will fall to waste. Goodbye, prison. Goodbye, molten giant, and goodbye, crescendo. Prison probably the only one we care about there. Old Giant's good, but he's gonna take a minute. All right, use this coin for that. That's good. It was a pretty good play coming though with the uh, Forge of Wills and Monstrous Form. I gotta get tapping. It's probably still a good play though. Just uh. Monstrous forms OP, dude. <laughs> it's like a. If they damage it, it heals back up to what it was. It might even be worth it, dude. The uh, projectionist trick here. Execute. Okay. This one displeases me. We might projectionist the geode. Let's see what the geode gives us. We've created a temporal anomaly. It's good enough. We can tap, drop two pot fives. Don't worry, it looks great. Projecting the gem tosser is pretty good too. Alright, so no brand just yet. Love seeing that. 
Mysterious orb. What is your wisdom? I really hope that's not a explosive trap. <laughs> Alright, he would not have done that if it was an explosive trap. Uh, okay. Probably better get that gem tosser back there. Good ice barrier, though. Let's tap. Oh, he doesn't get any cheaper because of the freaking armor. That's right. Highly likely he just Reno's here, so yeah. Let's get this down. Love to pick up a crescendo here. No matter the danger, I'll always chase a good discovery. No wear and tear Terror of any, any kind. kind. Should only have one left. The is upon us. Uh, we could go. I feel like Crescendo is what we really need. These little munchkins. Created a temporal anomaly. All right, so this is—I uh, don't think it's enough to kill him, but it's a lot of damage. Job done. Poison. Ah, that heals him up though. That's not good. He can't shoot one of his own guys. He didn't get that freaking no muncher, man. All right, so let's go, Hearthstone Brew, baby. <sighs> I think the Frost Mage one did it for us, but uh, nah, this isn't gonna do it. For a hero. 
Ross Mage. Don't defile one wasn't bad. All right, we'll take a three and four. Not bad overall. Um, I mean, if you can get started pretty early, maybe a little more self-damaging stuff. Like you could have uh, soul freeze to kind of give you a little time. Doesn't really help you against um decks that are chilling, like the warriors there. Even encroaching insanity could be good. Maybe something like Spirit Bomb to give you a little more reach. But I think we'll just keep it how we had it. I did not mind the demonic studies here and there. But yeah, that was a quick little self damage zoo deck. It, it's got some legs. If you get to a nice early start, drop off your Molten Giants and your Horrors, uh, Forge of Wills. It, it kind of plays similar to Sludge Warlock. Maybe Sludge, I feel like Sludge Warlock probably is the better bet. Ooh, Zilliax could be good too. Probably the ticking and the plus one plus one module. You're just gonna have a whole bunch of stuff on board. Yeah. I don't know what you would take out for it, but maybe a projectionist or you take out prison. Take out prison, put in Zilliax, customize them for ticking and uh haywire ticking and pylon. We're gonna take Silly X out because uh, I wanted to throw this in the YouTube list. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on how to improve this list, please let me know what you think. Uh, no, it was it was not that. It was prison. There we go. Oh, I gotta copy that again. Thanks for watching, everyone.